Little did I know that becoming a grandparent would have the impact on me that it has had. It is blissful. It is full of what I call regenerating joy. It is bringing new life to me. And the research really supports that. Those grandparents that do have connection to grandchildren or a younger generation, they're more cognitively in tune. Why? Because they have to be. Those grandchildren are smart as can be. They're more physically active. Why? Sedentary behavior doesn't work. You got to get down on your hands and knees and play and read with and do all those things. And emotionally, the touch of a grandchild, it's like a touch from heaven. And also, when you in a caring way touch and even bless your grandchildren, oh, you are endowing them with strength and purpose that comes uniquely through your hands and words. As a grandparent, I believe we can change the course of history. Now, maybe you're distanced from your grandchildren, and that's tough. We do have technology that helps us get there in some way, but we need to leave written and verbal messages, whether they're recordings or even taped messages, much like the movie The Gift did. As here a grandfather left his last words and hopes in a will through a video testimony. What we're about in Family Legacy videos is helping you in that process because you have stories, you have living history that's gonna make a difference. And I believe recording those in a way that will be lasting and can be viewed over and over is a difference maker. Do you know resiliency is an important factor in adolescent growth? In one study, it was found that if teens have awareness of their family history and the whys and the wherefores, it builds resiliency in their outlook in life. Yes, scientific studies look at this resiliency factor. So you're depriving an opportunity to give resilience to your grandchildren by just sitting back and saying nothing. Now, it doesn't mean you have to go and tell deep, dark secrets, but there are things that you know that they need to know. And it can be as simple as how you grew up, your first house and how it was arranged, your interactions with their parents, things that you would do differently, and honestly expressing humility. Because grandparents, you're at a great place. You have a limited amount of time left. Why not, in a humble, uh, engaging way, share your hopes and dreams? And if there's rights that need to be um, uh, brought out from wrongs and decisions you have made and what parent has been a perfect parent, uh, I can't think of any. Then putting those out will only engage your children to open the door to your grandchildren because they see that humility in and know that there's something valuable gained by having access. I look forward to hearing your story and I believe you codifying it will make a difference and begin a legacy that's long overdue. That's what we believe at Grandkids Matter because they do and you putting those historical points down in ways that make a difference will help them in many ways. Grandparents, there are a few things that I would encourage you to do, and it's simply this. Make a written and a video record of something that you want to pass on to your children and grandchildren. It's an heirloom that will have value long after you're gone. And it's very easy to do. Not only do we believe it, but we've provided a process for you to act on that will help you get the very best of what is in your heart and life to send down the line. 
I can't think of any better gift than you recording those thoughts and words in a way that will have long-term impact. I've done it and I encourage you to do the same.